guys, I'm Jessica Estrada and we're here at the African American Film Critics Association. We're catching up with all the stars to find out why it's important to have events such as this and get their opinion on much more on what's going on in the industry. Stick around because you don't want to miss this. First of all, King was such a riveting performance. Watching you was actually like seeing the man himself on, you know, stage in Selma. Where did you pull from to be able to just play that role like it was him in modern day? Well, to me, it's the first role I've done where I had to pull more on my spiritual self than just my technical self as an actor. You know, this is a man who was very much governed by his faith, governed by his spiritual life. That was the drive for him. That's what motivated him to do what he did the way he did it at the time he did it. And so um, that, that, was, um, that was my engine, really. I prayed every day and just hoped God would flow through me. Thankfully, I, I, I felt that presence with me, and uh, I think that's, uh, that absolutely is what I have to attribute the performance to. He absolutely flowed. <laughs> and King has been a theme in your life, correct? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, well, Oyelowo actually means a, a king deserves respect and uh, um, I'm from a royal family in, the Ni in Nigeria. Um, I played King Henry VI. Uh, it was one of my uh, formative moments as an actor uh, for the Royal Shakespeare Company. And, uh, and now I get to play uh, an American king. Uh, so, uh, so yes, it's definitely been a theme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how is working in the United States any different than working in the UK as an actor of color, if any way at all? It, it is different because it's just a, it's a, it's a, it's a different size. You know, we just, it's, a, it's a, a big bigger industry and we and the, we make bigger movies here I just I just don't think the equivalent of Selma would be made in uh, in, in Great Britain certainly not for a black uh, actor so you know that's that's why I live here that's why I work here final question top five movies of the year oh wow okay well I can tell you some of my favorites of the year I, I loved a film called 71 with Jack O'Connell I loved theory of everything uh, with uh, my good friend Eddie Redmayne I thought Birdman was great as well well, um, uh, I didn't see many more films than that. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough for us. Thank you so much, Mr. Thank Yellow. It was a pleasure. At that time and now. And so you needed someone that was able to do both, the high and low, the big speeches in the church, mm -hmm. in a real black Southern church, mm -hmm. which he kills. Hollywood Today.